Lee Keshel didn't learn Mongolian in school. He learned it on Ulan Bator construction sites. After settling in 2001 in the Mongolian capital, the American businessman bought three apartments for just 30,000 US dollars. 13 years later, he runs Mongolia's largest investment company. This is his next focus, a luxury building called the Olympic Residence in the capital's downtown. Right now, we're actually uh, building the top of the building that's going to have uh, the sales on them. Uh, the first three floors will be luxury retail, restaurants, spa. Uh, currently, the price is around $3,500 per square meter. We expect it to be around 4000 to 4500 by the time the building is completed in one year. Ulan Bator is awash with construction sites. The economic growth is a result of Mongolia's commodities boom. Coal, copper, gold. Mongolia has ample mineral resources it is only beginning to draw upon. For Li Kashel, a new era is just beginning. I'm very confident for the Mongolian growth, not only for the next few years, but even for the next 20 years. Um, Mongolia has just started to bring the minerals out of the ground. Uh, and then ultimately, as long as the global economy is growing at a steady pace, there will be demand for those commodities from the manufacturing countries such as China. Um, and it's, we're basically at the tip of the iceberg right now. Mongolia may be overly dependent on Chinese demand, but for now, mines are filling the country's coffers, like here in Mandal district, famous for its gold reserves. Much of the money earned goes to help the community. People from all over the country come to this district to enjoy the social benefits we provide here. When they arrive, we offer housing, showers, kindergartens for their children, hospital checkups. All of Mongolia is grateful for this. But the economy grows in tandem with rising inequality. Each year, slums called Ger neighborhoods are expanding in Ulaanbaatar. Nomads are moving here to benefit from the economic miracle. But 60% of those who move stay unemployed and their circumstances remain unchanged. Everything stays the same here. When the salaries rise, the cost of living also rises, so that makes no difference for us. Mongolia faces another issue widespread alcoholism. According to a World Health Organization survey, 22% of Mongolian men are dependent on alcohol, one of the highest rates in the world. So the two sides of the uh, Mongolian economy there, Shannon, I guess the other big problem for the country is it's almost total dependence uh, on China. That's right. As you said, Mongolia is very dependent upon Chinese demand for its continued economic growth. It's a challenge faced by many developing, resource-rich developing countries around the world, including in Africa. So if China's economy slows and that demand falls, that's sure to affect Mongolia's economy. And Mongolia is also very dependent on a Chinese labor force right now. So, so these are challenges affecting Mongolia in the years ahead, for sure. OK, Shan, that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much for joining us. And that's it for this edition of Asia Live.